how was the excitement level for uh, the All Stars Football Club match? Obviously excited. We've been actually uh, waiting for this game for the last two years. Very anyway, few people know we already support twenty five thousand children with magic pass from childhood to livelihood. Uh, so you know these matches are always very special. It's my name in the front, but it would not have been possible. Without uh, Ranveer and uh, Abhishek, I think it's it's really he's passionate and he puts heart and soul. If he's getting into something, then it's he's all in and above. And I think that's just the most amazing thing about him. Most of the producers, what they do is just announce a film with a title. They don't know whether the cast is in place or whether the director is in place. I announce a film. The director, cast, everybody is in place, and people know that this is not a project, and this is a film that's going to happen. Are you doing all these announcements soon? You will hear first. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bunty and Jasmeet, uh, welcome on Bollywood Engano. Thank you Thank for you. having us. Thank you. All right. So tell us, tell us, how's the excitement level for? Uh, The All Stars Football Club match on uh, May seventh in Dubai. Obviously excited. We've been actually uh, waiting for this game for the last two years. It's been in the in in the making for the last two years, but because of COVID, it's been pushed. And finally, seventh uh, of May is when we land in Dubai to play uh, a competitive uh, football game against the uh, United Emirates. And uh, let's see who wins. All right, and and just with tell us um, amongst all the matches that you have done that, that you guys have organized so far for for the club, um, where does this 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 one stand in terms of um, relevance and importance? This one's obviously special, right? This is the first match now after nearly three two and a half three years. It's you know the first thing we're doing post COVID, and we're always excited about everything we do with All Stars because you know we we raise a lot of money for charity. Um, I think very few people know we already support twenty five thousand children with magic pass. From childhood to livelihood, uh, so you know these matches are always very special, and the excitement on this one is is superb. Okay, and it's Shabab Ahil Stadium. Shabab Al Ahili Stadium. Shabab Al Ahili Stadium. Uh, how many people are you guys expecting on on May seventh? Full house. I think around ten thousand people. That, that that should be massive. Um, in 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 your in your uh, you know you guys have been uh, organizing events for a really long time. Um, Have you have you seen this level of uh, of competitive match being played by by uh, Bollywood stars before this? No, so uh, you know when this idea came to me, I I, I put it together in two thousand twelve, where I realized that a lot of the actors talk about football, but are they really playing football? No. So I went to Abhishek and Ranbir, and I knew that these one was a Chelsea fan and one was a Barca fan. And you know, told them that this is what I want to do going forward. Every Sunday, let's practice, let's form a club, get like-minded actors to join us to play football, and raise uh, money for charity by doing exhibit exhibition games, or be available to a corporate house for a certain price all over the world. And you know, let's do this. And they were very, very forthcoming, very excited. This they were the first two to sign on. I call them my co-founders because. Um, It's my name in the front, but it would not have been possible without uh, Ranbir and uh, Abhishek being so actively involved. And uh, you know, for the last ten years, they've been coming for practice every Sunday. They've been part of it, all the twenty-two matches that we've played in the last ten years. Two years we uh, discount for COVID, and going forward, we have a couple of matches planned. Uh, so I think uh, you know we've, we've been able to do a great job with the All Stars. And I'm thankful to each and every member of the All Stars because they take time out every Sunday to come for practice, uh, which is two hours of rigorous practice to make sure that their skills are as good as their acting skills. Because when you're playing in front of an audience who expects Bollywood uh, just only to act and never to play football, it comes as a surprise to them when they see their level of fitness and uh, the competitive spirit. Uh, in which they play the game. The prime example being taking on the cricketers uh, in the last three, uh, in the last eight years in three games. You know how fit the Indian cricket team is. So members of the Indian cricket team play against the All Stars in a special match that's called the uh, Classico. It's called it's called the Celebrity Classico, which we played. We lost all the three matches, uh, but uh, uh, hats off to the. 
Bollywood stars and uh, members of the All Star who uh, gave a tough fight to the Indian cricket team, who are supremely fit under MS Dhoni and then Virat Kohli, you know. And um, uh, in fact, um, uh, Star uh, Sports, uh, which telecast the last two matches, uh, was very impressed by the uh, ratings that they got on the live coverage of one of these matches, uh, telling us that some of the uh, matches tracked better than the EPL games that the Indians watch on uh, Star Sports. So, uh, that is a great high for all of us. And uh, as we go forward, uh, you know, with the All-Star, the younger lot, Aan Shetty, Abhimanyu Dasani, Apar Shakti, a lot of the younger, uh, younger lot has joined um, the All-Stars. So, it's now become a team of 34 actors from Bollywood who play football. And, um, uh, you know, I find it uh, a sweet headache that I can only take 18 and I have to let go of 16 who can't make uh, the team. So, I try to rotate uh, some of the players so that they get a chance to play uh, in the All-Star when we play these matches. Okay, Jaspreet, who are the who are the star attractions for Dubai from the, from the team? Dubai, it's Abhishek, Ranbir and Karte. And, but then, you know, the whole, everyone in, in the team is is equally important and they're all stars, right? So, uh, Dino is there, uh, there's Abhimanyu is there. So, I mean, over the years, like Bhandi is saying, right, the, the family, of this football family that is making an impact and doing good has just grown so much, right? From all the established names to the younger names that Bhandi mentioned and it's constantly growing. So, that's also really a big high, right? Like how um, the entire film fraternity is coming out to support this and be a part of this and make an impact. Right. So, I spoke to Abhishek Bachchan recently and uh, and he's very excited about the match. And I believe uh, you guys started started this uh, on this thing together. He's the captain of the, of the team, I believe. And um, he's, he's someone who's extremely passionate about, uh, about football. Anyone who has followed him on social media would know that he is very, very bullish about uh, his, his, his football matches. Why do you think Abhishek is so, so, uh, so, so serious about uh, this, this football match? So, Abhishek is basically serious about anything he puts his mind into, whether it's acting or whether it's sports. You see, uh, eight years ago, he took the plunge into the pro Kabaddi league and uh, started the Jaipur Pink Panthers, the Kabaddi team, uh, which he owns, uh, you know. And obviously, uh, he saw our interest in sports a lot. He's also a, a team owner of the Chennai ISL uh, team. Uh, you know, in the Indian Super League. So, it's a natural progression for him to be a leader. And uh, being the captain of the All-Stars, he commands a lot of authority. People listen to him, they look up to him. And he has a lot of knowledge of football. It's very, very important for somebody who's leading the team to have the knowledge of football. And he knows uh, his football very well. And, uh, you know, that comes across when he's guiding the team uh, on the field, off the field. Uh, you'll be present in Dubai. You'll see what he'll be doing. Screaming and shouting by the end of the match. His voice is gone because he's uh, shouted and screamed so much, telling people what to do. I think that's a great quality, you know, in him. And, um, and, and that's how he goes about in his regular life, that whatever he does, he does seriously. And he takes the All-Star um, football club, the All-Star matches very, very seriously. And I think that's a great quality to have in a person. Just to add to that, you know, actually, you know, Dalan was serious. I would say he's, he's truly driven and passionate about this sport. But at the same time, like Bunty mentioned, everything he does, he puts his heart and soul into it. Right? So, I think, I mean, I understand where the word serious comes from, but I, I think it's, it's really he's passionate and he puts heart and soul. If he's getting into something, then it's, he's all in and above. And I think that's just the most amazing thing about him. Not just as, a, as an actor, but also as a human being. Right, and, and, and Ranbir is going to be there and, uh, and, and Karthik, Karthik too, I believe. Yeah, um, Karthik yeah, is going to be doing promotions with you for Bull Balaya, so you can ask him about the All-Stars as well. Right, and uh, I think this is going to be the first outing of Ranbir post his marriage, I believe. Yes. So, this is, uh, so uh, he, he, I think uh, he should be um, like looking forward uh, in, in more ways than one of them. Okay, and do we do we have any uh, any actresses coming in as well to, to cheer for the, these guys? Unfortunately, uh, not. Uh, though we would love to have uh, either their wives or girlfriends, but I guess they're all busy doing something or the other. 
hopefully when they play in bombay we will be able to get a chance to call their wives uh, at some point of time to come and watch their husbands play or girlfriends for their boyfriends uh, you know to come and see them play and uh, i'm sure some of them watch it i think uh, i'm not too sure but i think sony is taking this match live so a lot of them will be able to watch this on television so right uh, right and in the future we'll have uh, more of attendance of the wives are watching their husbands play football right and and just with the just us, uh, since since how many how many months have you guys been been working on this particular match and what have been the logistical uh, issues that you guys have, have encountered i mean so every, every match largely the the biggest challenge is making sure that we can get a date where everybody can match that date right i mean they are all busy actors and they all have multiple things happening and as covid has the world is open back up they're all superbly busy so the major logistic challenge is, is really that that date planning other than that i mean you know, we as an organization have been in the business of doing events for i think 25 plus years so uh, there is no logistical challenge in putting an event together it's just making sure because there's so many um, personalities involved it's getting the the date sorted but other than that it's any kind of event is always fun and an up our alley so that's not a challenge at all right so so bunty uh, you guys are having uh, i think the logo is is playing for humanity hashtag playing for humanity um, why is it important for you guys so the idea of the all star club is to get like minded people together uh, to play football and to raise funds for charity uh, for the last uh, 10 years we've raised a substantial amount of money through these matches and given to various charities Uh, the only thing we don't do is talk about um, the charity that we are associated with or who we give the monies to, uh, because that's been the mantra from day one. Let's do the job rather than talk about it, uh, and that's what we do. Uh, we decide on a particular charity, and uh, the money is then uh, I make the call and go across meet the person who has to be given the check. and uh, the check is given to the person and the surprise uh, is uh, very evident on their face when you see that and and that's enough for us and then they write us this appreciation letter uh, which is then circulated amongst the entire team for them to understand where the money has gone and for what cause it has gone for you know but we don't talk to them about it we don't advertise it at all okay and and just with the uh... You are, I believe, a yoga instructor, certified yoga instructor. I believe. Yes, that, that's true. That's true. So, do you do you give any tips to to the team? No, they they are all they are all very fit. They all have their own fitness regimes, and they all have their their trainers. So, so I, I stay away from that. I mean, I think I can take a few tips from them. Some of them are supremely fit, and and you also know a lot of them. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, and 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 Bharti, you uh, you were a film producer. Now, anything anything coming up uh, as a producer in movies? Yeah, so work in progress uh, is what I would say. Uh, you know, I don't like to say and predict something that uh, is yet work in progress. Once we are ready with something, we'll make that official announcement. Then this is what we are working and announcing next. Because I just believe that if you announce something, it should be the full package. The director, the actors. the whole thing the whole shebang together most of the producers what they do is just announce the film with the title they don't know whether the cast is in place or whether the director is in place i announce a film the director cast everybody is in place and people know that this is not a project and this is a film that's going to happen that is why i've been a bit slow in making my movies i only made seven movies in the last 25 years but slow and steady is my game because i have other verticals in my company where we do events sports weddings etc so that keeps us busy okay and uh, just with i believe you uh, you were an assistant director of kismat connection that is yes yes rajiv mehta right so any 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 plans of there is there the producer as well yes no, there the, there are plans but uh, you know like like bandi mentioned you know, when when things are completely put together and finalized uh, we we'd like to share that but yes there there is a story being developed so let's see how that pans out All right, and and, and Mati, uh, you guys have have, have organized many um, many Bollywood shows um, abroad. Uh, I think uh, after post COVID, um, uh, things are opening up in a big way, especially I think the North American market. I think uh, the, the the way the shows have been announced and the way they are happening right now, I think maybe it has never happened like this before. Too many things happening simultaneously. 
So any plans of, uh, of, of doing shows abroad? Yes. Shows abroad? yes, we are in the process of putting something together and announcing it soon. Okay, there, there are plans. Okay, and... Uh, my Pari, doing all these announcements soon, you will hear first. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, and, and one last question to you. The last two years, um, due, to, due to, I think, COVID, uh, the event industry was, was hit uh, like really badly. Uh, how did you guys cope with it? Uh, it was terrible because two years there was no work. Uh, so we got to spend a lot of time with family, with my kids. Uh, uh, developed a lot of ideas uh, because uh, an idle mind is a devil's workshop. So if you keep your mind busy planning uh, for what you want to do, um, you know, it that helped in uh, those two years in putting things together, whether it was scripts, whether it was IPs for different sports or creating something different. As we go along, we'll be hearing a lot more of what we had planned in the last two years during COVID and it'll keep coming out and you'll keep seeing one better than the other. And just, and just right. add to that, right? so even and just with the All-Star also over the past two years, because like you correctly said, work was very limited. Uh, there are some exciting things that we are planning on doing, right? Which is, you know, we've completed a 10 year journey. So we're working on, uh, you know, the possibility of doing a, a documentary or a docu-series that kind of uh, captures this, this 10 year story and the journey so far and the future. Uh, we've also planned something which is the All Star Footy League, uh, which becomes uh, something that takes this entire All Stars and converts it into a league format uh, that can happen over a four day period and can be a sports and entertainment spectacle as an event. Um, so, yeah, even just with the All Stars, there, there, over the past two years, there have been things on the drawing board which I'm planning. And then obviously, once things materialize more, we, we take it to the uh, to the team and, and discuss it and then move it further. Great. So, uh, Bhanti and Jaspreet, lovely talking to you guys. Uh, congratulations for the wonderful buzz around the match on 7th May. Uh, all the best wishes. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. See ya. Bye.